Jason Kalipa doing a 14.2. The workout starts with 10 overhead squats, 10 pull-ups, chest to bar, two rounds. You know that's gonna be pretty easy for, for a lot of people. And so the real key is just to keep the heart rate down, just keep it super chill. So the 10 overhead squats, just wasn't even really worried about it. Just get in a nice little groove, just take it easy. 10 pull-ups, nice and easy, 10, 10, and just kind of get that one out of the way. And that was really what I was thinking about is just, you know, kind of use it as a warm up, use it as a way to kind of prep your body for it and just mentally and physically prepare to, for what's to come. Round one, pretty, pretty straightforward. After round one, uh, just took a seat on the floor, uh, really try and regain that heart rate, drop it back down again, take it super, super, super easy, and uh, get ready for the next round. Uh, next goal, get all 12 of those uh, overhead squats unbroken, get on that pull-up bar. I did the first set unbroken. It just felt good, it didn't feel too struggled. Um, and then uh, on the next set, I think I broke it up. Yeah, I think I broke it up eight and four, something of that nature. Somewhere when I started to feel my body start to break down a little bit, I uh, just stopped, jumped off, and got another set. I knew I would have plenty of time to finish the round because the difference between 10 and 12 is not very big. So I just wanted to make sure that I you know, kept the heart rate low. As soon as I felt myself even slightly getting fatigued, I, uh, I dropped off the bar. Round three, really the same thing, right? Try and stay smooth and unbroken on the overhead squats. Uh, Garrett and I both did that same thing. When you get to the overhead squat, or the, the pull-ups, I, uh, how many was it? So 14, right? I, uh, I did um, eight and six, I think on the first set. And then I did uh, something very similar on the next set, right? What'd you do? I think I did eight, six, and six, four, and four, from what I remember. Eight. Yeah. I mean, here's the big picture, right? Here's the big picture. Don't go into it having the exact sets you want to do, because you may not have that exact, exact, uh, you may not feel perfect about it, but what I would do is try and have smooth sets that don't get you too fatigued. So for me, a set of eight, a set of four, a set of whatever, is so moderate that I know that if I gave myself a goal of doing two or three of those, I should be fine. And um, that's the big picture. So for you, you gotta ask yourself a question. If you do 10 chest bar and pull-ups, how hard is that for you? Well, if it's really hard, then break it up because uh, you don't wanna burn out. You don't wanna get the, uh, you know, you don't wanna get too, too fatigued too early. You wanna stay nice and smooth. This workout's about hitting that, you know, 80% threshold and just kinda hanging out there for a while. I mean, here's the next kicker on that, right? It's like, when you get there, you inevitably will get to a, a period, whether it be 14, or 16 or 18, um, where you're like, damn, you barely get it, right? You barely finish that round and you're thinking to yourself, well, there's no way I can get the next round. That's gonna happen, that's fine. But when you do get there, just make sure you try and get back on the bar and get as many rounds as you can in that next cycle because there's gonna be a lot of other people competing for these uh, numbers. Sometimes what happens is you just feel devastated because you work so hard to get through the 18s, for example, and then now, oh crap, now you're on the 20s. Well, when you get there, whether it be at the 18s, the 16s, whatever, you gotta continue to push, and that's the hard part. That's where it really becomes an art, where you get through that last little bit, and then you gotta continue to move, because uh, other people are. So if you wanna win, or if you wanna do well, you gotta keep moving through those. All right, let's go. All right, let's go.